My name is Joseph and this is my story. Anytime I sleep and no place from somewhere comes to beat me and make a prison noise. Beats me as much as it can. My room begins to vibrate and shake. And prison noise and the spring beats me up. Anytime I wake up, I feel that something has beaten me. I'll be down. Like what at all is happening to me? What is happening to me? Okay, since today is the first day, let me ask. The next day I was there. The same thing. My room began to shake. The same spirit came. The thing was still beating me. The same unpleasant noise all over my body. The thing was still hitting me. Hitting me day in and day out. Hitting me. When I take finish, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be briefing. I'll be briefing. I'll be like, hey, what at all is happening to me? Why did I do wrong in this thing? So I decided, the world, since this thing is happening to me, let me go and get poison and die because I'm frustrated. Every day, evil spirit comes to beat me. It means that I, I don't have hope in life. So I roam throughout the day to search for a place to buy poison and take and die. But I said I didn't get any place to buy. So I said, well, let me come and have my seat. So I came, I checked around, no one was there. So I found a very nice place. I was even tasty. So well, I'm tired since I didn't get, let me sit down so that I continue. So I sat there thinking what to do. Unfortunately, it was not so long. I heard someone preaching. I said, okay, let me listen to what they are preaching. So I entered into the room and I heard a pastor preaching the gospel. And the pastor was saying that most of you are being beaten by the devil because of sin. If you are fornicating or doing any evil thing or any satanism, you are under the bandage of the devil. So I decided to confront the pastor and the pastor told me. And I told the pastor what had been happening to me and said, Oh, I need to get on my knees and confess all my sins I've committed against God. And then pray. And if I pray, God will stand for me. Most of us have been beaten by the devil because of the evil we've committed. But if we can get on our knees and pray, we'll see. So I decided to get on my knees the next day. I told God, Oh Lord, I know I have sinned against you. I know I have done abominable things. You forgive me, Lord, and deliver me from these beatings of the devil. Oh Lord, I was crying unto God that the Lord should deliver me. He should deliver me from this beating. Enough is enough. I know I have sinned against him. I know I don't deserve it, but his grace is sufficient. So I finished praying and I told God that the rest is in your hands. So the next day I was doing my thing, I was like, oh, the, the, then the spirit came. The devil came himself. Then I said, who are you? Then he told me he is the deaf angel. He's here to beat me again. That he used to beat me every day because of the evil things I've been committing. That all the lies I used to tell, all the fornication I used to fornicate, all the masturbation I used to masturbate, all the pornography I used to watch, all the sins I've committed have become a slave to him. So he gave this opportunity to beat me as much as I can. So today he's now coming to pick me and beat me finally. Hey. One thing the devil like, he doesn't know that things have changed. I shake my head and say, well, the devil was speaking. I was still standing there quietly too for him to finish all his nonsense he have. Because he doesn't know that things have changed. He was speaking, he said, oh, he, he said he's the devil. He want to kill me finally. He was even boldly speaking to me. <laughs> I was just looking at him. I was just looking at him, he said, the devil. Yes, I was once under you. But I want to tell you that today things have changed. I am now for Jesus, he said, for if any man should be in Christ, he said, you preacher. All things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. Satan was under you and you were just beating me. But I have confessed my sins and the Lord has forgiven me. Satan, I'm so under your bandage. And now, Satan, you have nothing to do. You are a failure. You are a failure. I am under Jesus. He said, whatsoever the Son of Man have made free, he free me. I was commanding fire. I was commanding fire on the devil. He was still standing. I said, Jesus, let there be fire on this man. I was calling down fire. Now the devil began to shake. He began to shake. He began to shake. I was calling and said, fire. Then his fire started burning him, burning the devil. It was, oh, then before I ran, he vanished. And I became victorious. Most of us today, we have been beaten and molested by evil spirit because of some sins we've committed. It is written that if anyone that sins have become a slave for the devil, Mama, daddy, brother, sister, if today you can confess your sin, he's faithful and just and to cleanse you for all unrighteousness. And this is my story.